everyone. So this is my um, fourth video about uh, peripheral for flight simulator, especially flight controllers or the uh, the joystick. Uh, I have reviewed the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, my second longest oldest joystick. The link is up here. And the second one, I review the Cydex X55 joystick uh, without the throttle. Unfortunately, I have cannibalized it for my FAD uh, DIY uh, cockpit. So the link are here above. And then the third one, I review and uh, share my experience about the uh, uh, Trustmaster Warthog. Hot as Warthog uh, without the base because the base has broke has has uh, I mean broken for quite some times and actually I have replaced it with uh, a verbal uh, Warbird uh, base to be attached uh, to my F18C uh, grip. Okay, so those uh, the the one that I show you is the grip for A10C or F16 grips uh, without the base. So I've shown you the broken base uh, in the box, but I share my experience with it. Okay, the link is up here, and the fourth one that I would like to show you is a bit on the other scale. Okay, so this is one of the best uh, stick available in market. Uh, besides, uh, of course, Verbal. Uh, I love Verbal uh, product also. They are quite uh, high quality. Uh, this one is not Verbal, but VKB. Okay. So, VKB, uh, I think it's producing MMJoy firmware. If I'm not mistaken, they are the, the one who create MMJoy uh, firmware that I've been using for my DIY cockpit, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I think they are now using called Enjoy 3.2 or the 3.2 bit, I guess, 32 bit uh, ARM processors, which is actually much faster response and ability to to do a lot of stuff, I guess. That's uh, PKB. So here they are. Uh, I show you a bit because uh, it's I'm I don't want to detach it because uh, it's been uh, I configured this one. With a long stick, almost like 25 uh, centimeters uh, extensions, I've I purchased this uh, kit rather than the short one, like uh, only the stick, uh, the hand grip, and the base. So this is coming with the extension, the the very nice extension, a curving extensions rather than a straight extension like the one that I've used in the Purple Warbird plus the Thrustmaster F18C uh, hand grips on my DIY cockpit. This one is actually a curving extension. I'm using this in my January cockpit when I'm flying uh, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, for example, and I want to fly DCS also, but I don't want to bring my F-18C DIY cockpit into the simulator, simulation room. So I just use the same setup, but I I modified the base plate so it comes with this uh, large base plate uh, to be put into on top of the table kind of setup without the extension of course but I'm putting it in the middle of my gaming seat uh, with some uh, wooden plate so I can uh, kind of like using this uh, this uh, grip so I can just slide it in and then tie it up and I have the center line uh, stick uh, kind of option uh, using this uh, VKB Gunfighter MK3 Modern Combat Editions. This is not the ultimate version. The ultimate version have more uh, durable uh, materials with this, especially on the on the button and switches. Uh, they use mostly metal, uh, but this one is uh, the normal version one. Okay, so the the let's talk the base first. Uh, it's actually the base is very small compared to the Verbal CM50, uh, which is very huge and very uh, BV. This one is not. And if uh, on Verbal base, uh, CM50 base, there's a adjustment screw here to adjust the dampener. Here you cannot do that. You have to dismantle here. 
and then do it from below uh, from the uh, the opening uh, once you detach this from the base plate there's an opening there you there's uh, you can see the cam the spring uh, over there and then you can adjust the dampener from below so unfortunately you cannot adjust from uh, you know on the fly you know when you install it in in a cockpit or something but yeah I'm okay with it so that is the base uh, the base come with the separate controller a uh, USB control so the base connected to uh, like this uh, screw uh, screw connectors uh, uh, to this one uh, it's very sturdy this one used for industrial kind of connectors like this and then you tie it up uh, clockwise uh, and then this uh, small controller box uh, hub can connect pedals. They have pedals actually. Uh, VKB produce pedals. They might be uh, throttle uh, someday. Uh, I think they connect. It can connect here, and then three of them I think can connect to a single USB. That's nice because you don't use a lot of USB to connect. Uh, like for for example, Cytec Cytec X55. Uh, both joystick and throttle have a separate USB connector, so so they cannot. Uh, combined to single. Trustmaster have an option for that one uh, using an R R RJ kind of connector, RJ11 or RJ45, I, I forgot. But those kind of connectors and then they can go to a master slave configuration and the masters will connect to the USB port. So at least at least two of them can connect uh, like to um, RG11, I guess. RG11 connect to a master, the slave connect to master, and the master connect to the computer using a single USB port. So that is Trustmaster, and VKB also, I think, going to similar direction. So they can use pedals, S bus, L bus. I think they can connect multiple uh, components at later stage. I think they think about it thoroughly. There's some uh, reset button here, if I'm not mistaken, and there's some indicator here. Um, I haven't really, at least I've tried it, it's working and I can uh, use it, but I haven't really drilled down what it means and what's the purpose of the each of the light. Uh, yeah, so they come up with a USB extension, they provide one USB extension, uh, so you can make it further uh, like two meters length out of only one meter cable on the original connectors on the USB uh, 2.0 okay so that is the breakout box a separate breakout box rather than built in into this uh, base they create a breakout box where the uh, this control connect to this breakout box so it's very nice so they can uh, combine uh, multiple equipment into one USB port okay so that's that's the benefit of the base uh, the base itself uh, comes with this uh, Tabletop uh, fastener. This one is actually uh, the one coming from uh, the honeycomb uh, throttle quadrant. <laughs> I didn't use the this uh, fastener, the tabletop fastener. So I'm using one of them to connect to the uh, connected to the space via a bolt. Uh, so I can create a, a quick a quick uh, installation for this uh, VKB gunfighter MK3 into my generic cockpit not the not the f18 cockpit uh, the size is actually as big as the purple warbird but this one has the dampener so there's a dampener that you can tighten so if you can see here uh, let me show you uh, probably you, you will not see the joystick but you can see the movement so it's not it's not oscillating as much as if it's it's not dampening uh, dampened so it's only like small oscillations even not none almost none so it's more realistic feel like if you release your hand from the stick it will center itself uh, uh, nicely of course it will the spring is not that uh, strong so it will uh, drop uh, if it's not center it's not uh, kind of uh, aligned particularly but yeah other than that it will center nicely slowly i think it's not oscillating too much uh i mean it's too strong but it's quite nice okay so um 
before we talk about the extension and the, uh, the connection mechanics and everything, let's talk about the grip. So the grip uh, has a lot of buttons. I think they mentioned about uh, 24 buttons, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I think we're around and a lot of analog, uh, like six axes built in. One, uh, mine is actually don't have any rudder twist, so there's no twist. So I, it's no twist version. To, so you can opt for a twist version or non-twist version. Okay, so I opt for non-twist version. They have another one for space sim, specifically. I, I, I forgot the name, but this one is for modern jet uh, combat uh, jet uh, kind of edition. Um, the six analog comes from the base, of course, the roll and pitch, as usual, but without a twist, so there's no uh, rudder uh, kind of access. However, uh, you, uh, the other uh, access is coming from here. This is actually an analog uh, uh, thumb, thumb, what do you call it? Uh, yes, it's analog joystick, actually. This is, you can see there's a, uh, probably you can see it, there's a potential uh, inside it. And this one, I think, is also uh, analog. Uh, what else? Uh, this one is also analog. And I think, uh, yeah, if not mistaken, this one is analog. Uh, that's it. So one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, right? Six analog uh, uh, axis. So two analog uh, head switch or head uh, button here hot head knobs and then here uh, on the on this opening and then this uh, pinky uh, lever and then the, of course the pitch and roll so it's all all six of them so uh, that is the analog switch the button itself is the single button here very nice it's it's uh, very firm not not easily pressed uh, it's okay, but it's plastic. This one also quite a uh, quite a, uh, a force need to press this button and this one. So this two gray, one red. This is one definitely for weapon release, for example. And uh, I think this is eight or four uh, head uh, way switch, head switch. I think it's eight. So it, this one is you can use for trim. Uh, it's a nice clicky uh, switch. If you can hear, okay, uh, you can probably uh, hear it. Yeah, so this is a uh, head uh, eight way switch. I think this one is either four way or eight way with uh, depressed, so five at least. This one also has a depressed button. This one has depressed button. This one has depressed button. So each of these analog, even analog joystick has depressed button. So you can depress this switch or use the analog switch. So this one, let's say for uh, replacing the throttle without the, for example, if you want to move the uh, the, the radar uh, carrot and then, and then depress it and lock it, for example. Rather than using the throttle, for example, if your throttle don't provide that, you can use this one. Uh, this one also for view, for example, or yeah, free view. Uh, this one is for trim. This one is weapon release, and this one for other purposes. I don't know. For example, centering your VR view, uh, there will be one of the function. Yeah, or you can use uh, the press button here uh, for the view to center. Uh, this one is another. I think it's uh, this one is four-way head switch. Okay, uh, you can select. Um, I think there's a gun and DC. I don't know what it means. Anyway, this can be used for uh, selecting armaments, but you can also use this one for selecting armament. Okay, and then also depress. Uh, disengage. You can use this one. There's a black button here. A push button here. There's a engage. Uh, Engage uh, disengage, and of course this one can be used for a uh, brake. If you want want to use the brake without the, the rudder pedal, for example, but uh, well, I rarely use the analog brake from here. I don't know if there's some Russian aircraft that use this one. If I'm not mistaken, okay. 
there's a break analog uh, kind of axis here. This is also have some analog function here, if not mistaken, but also can be a switch. There's a switch there, and then you can open it to kind of uh, have a certain function there. And then this one is the main trigger, a uh, two level trigger. So one second, one second, one second. There's quite a, a click to it, the, the first one, and then the second one is a bit subtle. subtle. So you won't probably uh, notice the second press of it. Okay, but it's all quite okay. okay. What else? Uh, this one, this one, yeah, this one. This one also have a press. So the, everywhere the head switch has a pressing uh, press button function. So it's very nice. Uh, and I think that's it. Oh, the other one is actually you can adjust the the palm rest here, uh, either lower it or make it higher by adjusting this uh, L L L screw. So lever, so you can uh, loosen it and then adjust this lower or higher depending on your uh, uh, palm size. Uh, and yeah, so this one is adjustable. What else? I think that's it. So first of all, um, uh, by the way, as mentioned in the screen, uh, everything is metal. The cam, I mean the mechanics inside the base is all metals uh, using, uh, I think, using uh, CNC aluminum or alloy, I think they said. And the spring also provides a lot of options, including the cam. And uh, it also can you can accept uh, Thrustmaster uh, stick. So the Thrustmaster stick, let's say the one that I've uh, come with the uh, hot test Warthog, for example, the Thrustmaster stick can be attached to this uh, base with a certain cable or converters. So you need to buy a uh, small converters uh, like a circuits that connect uh, from this uh, Thrustmaster connectors and connect into the uh, uh, the base here. Um, of course, if you, you use extension, you have to use Thrustmaster extension, if not mistaken. But because the, the, the circuit that you bought, actually only uh, the cable is only very short. So you have to extend using the Thrustmaster extension cable if you use extension. Okay. Um, the problem, I think, what I can foresee if you use a Thrustmaster stick is that Thrustmaster stick is using um, uh, all metal uh, hand grip, so it's very heavy. This one is very light, actually. If I dismantle this, uh, you, there's uh, several mechanics that attach this uh, uh, this hand grip into this extension and the extension to the base. So it won't. Uh, it's really a, a very clever uh, kind of attachment. So it won't slip easily once you tighten it up. It will lock into place. So and it's providing a sturdy. Uh, even not wobbly, uh, it, it's really sturdy connection between the grip, the extension, and the base. Okay, uh, if you use the Thrustmaster hand grip, it's very heavy because it's all metal. This one is very light. Even like, I think that's one of the drawback. I think it's very kind of uh, empty, hollow kind of plastic. If you can hear, even not a solid plastic. Okay, it, I don't know the purple one because I don't have the purple versions, but this one is almost like hollow plastic. Although the plastic one is, I think it's a durable plastic and it is uh, printed uh, grips here, the, this pattern here nicely so you can, you, your wet hand or uh, your sweaty hand won't slip. Uh, this is a nice uh, durable plastic polycarbonate or something, but it is hollow, you know, it's like, it's very, very light compared to the Warthog one, uh, it's very far, like this one is probably a key, uh, less than a kilo or something, uh, the Warthog probably uh, almost two kilos, uh, kilograms or two, 2,000 grams kind of weight, so it's very different build, although it's very uh, tidy build, very nice, very uh, 
high quality build and I like this one without the rubbery finish uh, because the side egg one comes with a rubbery finish and after sometimes it's becoming so sticky this one is without so I'm fine with it but a matte, a matte color so a matte plastic finish so it's very nice uh, it looks more expensive than than you think uh, when when you look from afar it looks like a metal but it's actually a hollow plastic so it's very light that's why if you use this extension I'm not using uh, the heaviest spring uh, available because I just want to feel it uh, a light uh, kind of a balance and I think I'm using number 40 um, on on the spring selections so there are several bolt here two bolt here to fastener and there's another bolt up here uh, down here to to lock it in place one here and then one lock uh l l bolt um uh, not in bolt what else uh, there's a light over here that's indicating an on uh, switch on uh power sit uh, conditions but i think that's most of it i think there are several marking ap disengage uh, get controller gun dc but I don't know. Probably depending on what you are configuring it. So it's modern combat grip, PKB sim lot. Uh, there's a lot number here, uh, 101701. Uh, so this is MK3 uh, modern version, but not the ultimate version. The ultimate version have several metal components uh, here, so it's much more durable. Okay, so it's I think it's quite durable, high quality one uh very nice finish and i've tried this in very nice uh resolutions i'm i'm not sure what is the resolution of the sensor but it's definitely using the contactless uh also i think hall effect or something i don't know but it's contactless uh, sensors uh, so it's long lasting uh i don't know the resolution but the processors i think the controllers have the 32 bits ARM processors, a lot of customizations. I'll show you what's in the box provided, and also can accept uh, Thrustmaster hand grips if you want to. With converters, you have to buy one more components, and this extensions available also only provide the curved one. I guess there's a straight one, smaller one. I, I'm, 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 I forgot, but yeah, I prefer the long one. So you have to put a bit lower at least uh, 25 centimeters lower than your seat to be able to uh, use it properly uh, in, within, within your ties or center line joystick uh, configuration it won't be able to provide the side stick of course if you want to do side stick then you have to use uh, without the extension right so, but this is very nice. It give you a lot of movement uh, precisions when you want to control the the movement. Very, very, very nice. I mean, I I I'm not enjoy a controller using extension like in my FA18C cockpit DIY cockpit. I'm using 10 centimeter extension. This one is 25 centimeter extension. So it is more kind of like you can do more precisions. Uh, flying with this uh, setup okay so that is VKB gunfighter mk3 modern combat editions so let me show you what's inside the box so this is what they give you from the uh, inside the box in a uh, big plastic of course with a lot of components of course several uh, yeah some materials I think is probably you know you never read it you can just download the ma manual from the online one but uh, that one is for USB cable. Uh, you provided uh, two, uh, the, the main USB cable and then the ex one uh, USB extension about a meter and a half. So around two meter up to two meter and a half uh, cable length. And there's a lot of thing here. I will show you uh, what they give you. <laughs> and I kind of like uh, a bit useless because I'm just using one cam. Uh, I'm using the normal cam. I, this is for the space combat simulator. They they call it Space S cam. Uh, there's spring number thirty and spring. This one the two small screw spares. 
on spring number 10 I think the lightest one and this is the cap for uh, connectors uh, one of the connectors and what else uh, spring number 40 I use 40 also and then the Afia uh, H this is uh, another smooth cam if I'm mistaken and several uh, rubber uh, to to cover your spring so it didn't bind to each other at least and this is the nice one this one is the uh, spring puller so you can pull a spring using this uh, wire like just tight one of the loops on the spring and then pull it out and then take it out so it's very nice tools very small and you give a spare wire one more wire if you lose one uh, rather than using a plier or something, is, you know, this one is very intuitive, like a, a wire loops and then you just hook into one of the end of the spring, the loops, and then pull it out and then take it out from the, the camp, right? So, uh, I think it's a genius uh, tools. Uh, fifth, number 50, this, this is the heaviest one. So, if you want to use, then and you can also use double spring. On each of the camp so they have more spring given to you so you can use double spring on each camp so you can combine 50 with 40 50 with 30 I don't know there's a lot of combinations that you can do I haven't really tried all of them there's two space uh, camp here one I think with the hard uh, d10 or uh, centers and one is without the centers so there's uh, the one that have a more uh, prominent uh kind of uh, undulation there one is actually flatter uh this one i think is uh without a center uh kind of uh, detent uh and then the 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 aviation one uh or the yeah for your flight simulator i think this one have more a bit more prominent detent i forgot i think the one that i use have less uh i i think i'm using the normal one installed from the factory so this one is Afia H. I think I don't know what is the one that is in so Afia S or Afia. I think Afia S is smooth. Afia H is hard detent. This one means it's hard detent. The one that I'm using is the smooth one, I guess, without the detent. So there's a lot of I, I don't know what this is for. I think it's for the installations. Uh, so yeah, so they give you a lot of stuff here, even. If I want to use this for my fur pole, for example, for other joystick that have you that using the similar cam setup, I can use these spare parts. <laughs> uh, previously, I, I bought a fur pole warbird uh, uh, base. They only give me a few. Okay, uh, I think that you have to purchase further uh, accessories to to uh, for the hardest spring. Um, fur pole didn't provide it. But VKB did provide everything. So the hardest, the, the softest uh, spring, uh, they provided all of it. So very nice VKB. Uh, thank you for, uh, I think, uh, your generosity. But to me, I think it's uh, it's supposed to be like that because they are not cheap. Okay. So we're going to some of the cons later on. Uh, one of the things is this is expensive okay uh, you can buy uh, a Trustmaster Warthog hot as Warthog set uh, just buying the set for example if you buy this set or this setup uh, you can buy one set of uh, Trustmaster uh, Warthog controller okay so um, that is the cost of PKB for your reference I think if not mistaken but it's a really nice and worthy purchase I was eyeing also for the purple 50m uh, CM50 uh, base that would be nice additions uh, and replacing my warbird uh, in the FA18C setup because I'm I'm using a modified purple warbird in my FA18 DIY FA18C cockpit so I, I was plan to replace that someday with a, a much more sturdy um, kind of uh, base controller okay so that is VKB 
I've shown you the, the unit and goes through several of the things, but quickly on the on the pros, definitely durability with contactless sensors in the base, okay? And then programmable and updatable firmware, definitely they also have a modern software uh, to set up this VKB compared to Purple. I think it's much more easier to use this modern interface. I think I like Cytec XY5, Hota software at the time. This one is quite similar, in my opinion, anyway. Um, they have also another grip available in their store, which is replicating F14 uh, Tomcat grip. So if you want to build a F14 Tomcat uh, controller or cockpit, sorry, you can use VKB uh, hand grip of F14. Okay. But also, you can use Verbal actually. Verbal produce uh, also a F14 uh, grip. I think it's better than VKB. I'm not, I, I forget which one is better, but I think the base is much better uh, on Verbal, the base, because it's much more sturdy. I think it's a very huge base on Verbal. This one is a bit smaller, similar to Verbal Warbird size. Verbal Warbird size is smaller. Um, but the CM50 of Purple is very huge, uh, very beefy, and very long lasting, I guess. And I think they're F14 grip also. Uh, yeah, so both of them have F14 uh, Tomcat grip. So it can be connected here. You can also connect to uh, Trustmaster grip. So compatibility is okay. However, uh, on, on VKB, you have to buy or purchase the converter from Trustmaster grip into the VKB base, okay? While in Verbal, you don't need to because Verbal using the same connectors with uh, or uh, um, kind of compatibility connectors with the Trustmaster. So if using Verbal, Verbal base, you don't need to buy converter, but if using VKB, you have to buy, okay? So that's the only drawback on the compatibility, but they can do it, both of them. Uh, the other one is actually compact size of the sorry compact size of the base because they use a breakout box and um, it's okay size of cam size and mechanics inside but not as beefy as uh, CM50 uh, purple base okay uh, so it should be okay but yeah so they are quite compact size so you can put in center line and not uh, hindering your uh, leg or something. And also you can put this as a side stick without extension. You could put a the hand grip directly connected to this base uh, to provide a side stick configuration or tabletop configuration using the uh, base plate provided. Okay, so a lot of accessories because they provide the whole set of accessories. Uh, so you don't need to purchase any other accessories to customize your uh, controllers. Okay, so various cam, various uh, cam setup, uh, various uh, string of springs. So you can combine uh, two spring connection. There's a two spring connection. I, I, don't, I didn't show you the inside of this uh, controller. Uh, I just lazy enough to <laughs> uh, detect this base plate. But yeah, there's two spring connect connection uh, uh, capable. So I'm using double 40, if I'm not mistaken, here inside. And uh, yeah, so it's very, very, uh, very nice. So it's so you you find yourself some some uh, some configuration that you like. Okay, uh, the cons definitely is ex expensive. You can if you buy this setup with extension, you can buy uh, one Trustmaster Watt Hawk uh, setup. Okay, including throttle already. This one is excluding throttle on this stick. Okay, so I think around 500 to 600, 700 US dollar if not mistaken, the, the ultimate one. Uh, and then the plastic grip. So the grip is made of plastic and from afar looks like a nice one, nice build. But once you touch it, you can feel it. And the sound of it is a hollow sound of plastic, not the solid plastic sound. So you know it's not that expensive. But it's a durable plastic, so... So I think it's going to last quite uh, for a long time. But yeah, unfortunately, it's it's not convincing. Uh, look, convincing look, but not convincing touch. <laughs> you 
you can fill it. Compared to using a Warthog, a Thrustmaster Warthog or Thrustmaster FA18C grip, which is full metal. So it's a different kind of uh, quality. Okay, so that is VKB uh, Gunfighters MK3 Modern Combat Editions. My experience, sharing my experience, my thoughts, and my uh, kind of uh, yeah opinion, I guess. Uh, this is nice joystick, definitely. Uh, you can do a lot of combat nicely with this stick, okay? So it's really, really, really nice. I think for helicopters, also very nice. Except you, you need the collective controllers. <laughs> Either you DIY yourself or, or using something else. Okay, so that is PKB. And we can meet with uh, some other time for another review. See you.